Next thing we have to figure out is where this mousetrap goes on our rails. So in order to do that, we have to measure from the center spring all the way to the back hook. So if I line up zero on that center spring to that back hook, I have 21.2 centimeters. So now that I have that 21.2, I'm going to take my rail on my car and I have to find my rear axle. If you're using this car that has 25 millimeters in on each side, then one side is your rear, one side is your front. It's not going to matter at this point. You're going to decide right now. If you want to, you take your marker, put R on one side, put F on the other, rear and front. It's that easy. So we're going to take our ruler, we're going to measure out 21.2 from the rear axle. And we're going to make that mark, 21.2, rear axle, make that mark. Okay, so that's where your, our spring should go. So now, if I take my mousetrap and I put that spring right at that 21.2 point, which you can see that's there right now. If I pull back on my axle arm, it should line up directly with my rear axle, okay? Now that that lines up directly with my rear axle, I could actually take my mousetrap, line it up so I can make my marks on where it's going to sit. So I'm going to line this up on the back end, mark the back end, I'm going to line this up on the front end, mark the front end, okay? So that's where my mousetrap is going to sit on that wood piece and then you're going to go back and do it again for your other rail.